RNA purification and the samples. There are different types of the samples from which we can purify the RNA. Like we can purify the RNA from the tissues, cultured cells, body fluids like urine, CSF as well as semen. And we can also purify the RNA from the blood sample. Collection and storage of the samples. Samples, they are collected and stored at minus 70 degree centigrade in the lysis buffer. There is a lysis buffer. After the collection of the samples, they are usually stored in the lysis buffer, but the temperature should be at minus 70 degree centigrade. So that is the storage of the samples from which one have to purify the RNA. So frozen samples, once the samples have been frozen, then those samples can be stored for several months and later on RNA can be purified from those frozen samples. RNA can be purified from the cells and RNA can also be purified from the tissues. In case of cultured cells, those cells, they are homogenized. Once they are homogenized in the presence of the lysis buffer, then they can be used for the RNA purification. While in case of tissues, tissues first they should be disrupted and homogenized. Once they are disrupted and homogenized with the help of certain lab equipments, those lab equipments they can be uh, rotor stator homogenizer, tissue laser system as well as mortar and pestle. So with the help of these instruments, we can homogenize and later on we can use those samples either for the purification of the RNA or we can store them to purify the RNA at a later stage. This is the rotor stator homogenizer which is used to lyse or to disrupt the samples. In the presence of lysis buffer, this instrument is used and it homogenizes and disrupts the sample from which we have to purify the RNA. It can disrupt or homogenize the sample approximately between 5 to 100 seconds, but it depends on the toughness of the samples. Sometimes if sample is tough and strong, it can take a little more time to homogenize the sample. This is the second type of the instrument which is called as bead milling. So this is example of our, the diagram of the bead milling machine. Bead milling machine is usually used to disrupt the tissues by rapid agitation in the presence of beads. There are certain beads and a lysis buffer. In the presence of beads and lysis buffer, this machine disrupts and homo homogenize the sample. Disruption and simultaneous homogenizes occur by sharing and crushing action of beads because this machine, this instrument has beads and they collide with each other and also with the cells of the tissue or of the cells from whom we have to purify the RNA. So as a process of crushing and colliding the beads with each other and with the tissue a samples, a sample can be homogenized and from that sample we can purify the uh, RNA. This is the third system by which we can homogenize or purify the RNA which is mortar and pestle. Freeze the sample immediately. In this case usually the sample is frozen immediately in liquid nitrogen. In the presence of liquid nitrogen sample is frozen and then that sample is grinded to a fine powder under liquid nitrogen or in the presence of liquid nitrogen. Allow the liquid nitrogen to evaporate. Once the sample has been grinded properly, then the liquid nitrogen is allowed to evaporate and lysis buffer is added for the homogenization. Transfer the suspension into RNA's free tube. So this is the manual method by which we can grind and we can crush the sample for the purification of the RNA. 
So for the purification of the RNA, there are different cells and tissues which can be used like we can purify the RNA from the tissues, we can purify the RNA from the cultured cells, we can purify the RNA from certain body fluids as well as we can purify the DNA from the blood sample. We can purify the RNA from the blood samples.